Today I'm going fishing tomorrow. Uh, tonight I'll send out an email, um, a blast email, because I have all the chefs and, and a uh, distribution list and I'll look. And I'll send that out, let them know that we're all out. And they have an idea and I'll tell them what we expect to be catching. And so they'll know and they'll be able to plan. And then on the way in, or even throughout the day as we're catching some stuff, um, I'll send some texts or I'll send out an email again. And they'll, they'll start placing their orders. Uh, we started with Trace and Trust in April. It's a collaborative of boats um, from Point Judith. They go out and we can actually, we buy directly from them. I want you to let it go a little bit. Good. You got enough, you got enough rope to come ahead a little? It's, it started uh, quite a few years ago when we were trying to get out of the race to fish. We we're trying to get into being quota holders so we could get to marketing. It's been about a six year process for us. You know, we don't have to compete with everybody when the season is open. We don't have to stay out until the end of the day. We can catch them as we choose. Uh, it's just a much better, much better model altogether to be able to run your business like a business as opposed to run it as a competitor to the next boat over. It's a lot better. And we're on the same side of the fence as them. So I like the fact that I can, you know, save, uh, instead of having something trucked in from Maine, uh, you know, I would much rather buy locally and um, skip the middleman. So it saves me a little bit and it saves them. So they're, they're able to sell to me at a higher price than they would to a wholesaler. So I want to be able to make sure that the fishing industry stays here. We need to know how much we need to catch in the course of a day to be profitable. And if, and if you're guessing at what the price is going to be before you leave, you're going to be wrong as often as you are right. Uh, it's great to be the guy that takes out and gets the highest price in the harbor you know, when the, when the market is hot. But the reality is that scares a lot of the local buyers out of the fish business and they're forced to rely on Im uh, imports of lesser quality. So if we can stabilize the pricing and maybe raise some of the, the low end dips out of it, then uh, we think we can recapture market share with locally produced fish uh, throughout this state and throughout the entire region and maybe drive some of these exports back to from where they came. The quality of the fish is uh, magnificent, it's different, it's uh, flavorful, and honestly, you can't keep it in the house. They'll actually put a little code on their Facebook site. Yeah. If you type in the fish code, okay, it would tell you exactly where the fish was caught, what the name of the boat was, who the guy was that actually brought the fish in, and where it's being delivered. People are getting more interactive with what they want. They want to know what farm they're getting their, you know, arugula from. They like to be able to go to our website and see, you know, where exactly is the fish coming from? You know, there's a lot of scares with, you know, oil spills and things like that. And people are wondering, you know, is my fish frozen coming in from Chile or is it right out of the port? Well, the smartphones mm -hmm. is the key um, to communication. All the chefs have a smartphone. If they want to get a hold of us, they send a text or the email and it's on my dashboard and I get it. Chris gets it. If I get one, I can forward it to him. I can forward it to anybody else. These things are the key. Uh, right now there are three boats involved, uh, but that's gonna grow. As Wild Roadie uh, grows, we're gonna have a scallop component. We'll have a couple of the local scallopers coming in to meet the needs of the restaurants and the scallop department. Uh, right now, as we speak, we have uh, one of our guys is on George's bank looking to harpoon swordfish. That's a flavor, that's a texture. The crayfish you can compare to any frozen stuff. This comes right off the boat. The results you get, unbelievable.